The end of March and the beginning of April is when the world of frogs begins to come to life. Today, we are searching for some of Indiana's 17 species of frogs and toads. Swollen with snowmelt and spring rain, the park's wetlands provide perfect habitat for frogs ready to breed. At first, we find only insects and other invertebrates, such as this larval mayfly. The shallow waters teem with billions of mosquito larvae. These will provide an ample food source for many other species. Freshwater crustaceans, like fairy shrimp and ostracods, feed upon algae and bacteria. Crayfish, also called crawdads, crawfish, and mudbugs, are detritivores and eat decomposing plant and animal matter. While hunting for prey near the water's edge, a six-spotted tiger beetle becomes stranded on a wet leaf. Although we still haven't seen any frogs, we know they're out there. We can hear male spring peepers singing to attract a mate. Finally, we find eggs. The dark embryos are protected by a layer of transparent jelly. Some of these eggs are already beginning to develop into larvae. You can see the shape of the young tadpoles forming inside. Certain species of frogs, especially tree frogs, will lay their eggs singly or in small clusters attached to aquatic vegetation. Other species will lay hundreds of eggs in large masses, providing safety in numbers. These eggs are very delicate and very squishy. If the egg survives, it will eventually hatch into a tadpole with a tail and gills. You can see that this one is already beginning to grow a pair of very tiny hind legs. Eventually, it will lose its tail and its gills and become an adult frog. Good luck, little guy. At last, an adult frog swims across a flooded trail. This is a cricket frog. A chorus frog can be heard singing from the reeds nearby. This cricket frog will begin to sing later in the spring. Powerful hind legs allow it to swim quickly through water and to jump long distances to avoid predators. Many things at the park would love to call this frog breakfast. There are predators everywhere. But it's not the snakes or the birds or the raccoons that the frogs really have to worry about. It's us. Frogs and other amphibians are incredibly sensitive to pollution and habitat loss. Thousands of species of frogs are currently at risk of extinction due to human activity. We can help them by advocating for environmental protections, planting native plants, avoiding chemical lawn treatments, and by becoming more informed about the ecosystems that surround us.